Great poker stories are timeless and this story about a bad beat is one of the best you'll ever hear. According to rumors, this event took place in 2006 and it's almost too good to be true. The unnamed author was a college student at Arizona State who sat down in a game at the Native American-owned Casino Arizona. Poker rooms often offer a variety of promotions to get players in the door and keep them there. One of the most common extras is the offering of bad beat jackpots that grow progressively via an extra buck or two taken out of the pots in addition to the rake. They are exactly like the name suggests. If you lose any hand with a monster, usually an ace is full of 10s or higher and up, against a bigger monster, the loser drags half of the pot. The winner gets the traditional pot and 25% of the jackpot and the rest is divided among others at the table. So as the story goes, a wealthy woman sits down at a poker table and also at that table is an obnoxious young kid who is talking shit to everyone and making everybody mad. The author sat down at a 6-12 game and was quick to pick up on the animosity between them and the young guy was quick to label the woman as the Wicked Witch of the West. An earlier hand had started the verbal engagements between the two. The young man had a big pocket pair and the woman chased him down with a 7-4, pairing the 7 on the river for two pair. He was unhappy and let it be known while she held her ground and responded in kind. This is a common scenario in almost all poker rooms. The guy continuously muttered but audible off-color remarks all directed at the Wicked Witch of the West who had absolutely no qualms about issuing verbal retaliations. A few hands later, nearly the entire table stuck around to see the pre-race flop of King King Ace. After a bet and a call, only two were left in the hunt, the witch and the young guy. The turn was a junk, but it did not matter. Both players had their hands already. Since the action was heads up, there was no race cap and both players exchanged bets like punches in a Rocky movie. The rest of the table was amped by the furious action and were all reasonably confident that a boatload of found money was about to land in each of their laps. The bad beat jackpot was sitting at nearly $60,000 and there was $500 in the middle when the man threw his final chips in. The young man showed his pocket aces, giving him aces full of kings, which of course qualified for a $30,000 payday. He begged to be shown the lady's pocket kings, delivering the bad beat. The lady obliged him and showed him the pocket kings. The guy threw his hand in the air, mentally spending his lion's share of the jackpot. But the drama wasn't finished yet. Before anyone could convince her otherwise, the woman scooped up her pocket kings and held them out to her younger, wisecracking nemesis and with unflinching satisfaction, casually tossed her hand into the muck. Any muck tan is a dead hand erasing the bad beat from existence. The people were dumbfounded. The players, the dealers, the floormen, not to mention all the looky-loos who always run to a table when a jackpot has been declared. The young man collapsed into his chair as if he had seen a ghost before finally mustering up the courage to ask the woman why on earth would she knowingly turn down $15,000. She said with complete disdain that she did not need the money, but she knew that he did while racking up the remainder of her chips. She definitely got the last laugh and taught the kid a valuable lesson he will never forget. The other players were shell-shocked about losing their portions, which was more than $2,000 each, but they did get to walk away with the ultimate bad beat poker story and the tale of revenge. This video is powered by Bluff the Spot, the best place to learn how to win at poker from actual high-stake coaches like MMA Sherdog. Check the link in the description.